Corn and Pigeon family. This is Ham's Law. I have a lot of new subscribers. I want to thank everybody who for subscribed. Assalamu alaikum to the new people from uh, Africa and some of the Middle East countries. But I'm gonna give an update on my my racing loft and my and my little flights, quick on the flights, and uh, got my Skywatcher Pigeon gear on. But let's get started. Okay, on the front of this loft right here, I took all the plastic off over here. And we'll just go in, put a new handle on, because I didn't have a handle before. Actually cleaned up in here. Got all my feed over here. Scrapers, dust pans, and my other bin to swap out for the, for the birds. And you can see my little cage, some bowls. Some other little stuff, all my empty pots so I can get a pail so I can fill them up with feed. Got some hay down there and some other little knit nets there. But the biggest thing that I did, I actually changed the door. Now the door opens out. And I put my little breeding thing, breeding uh, feeding bowls down there. Okay, what I also did, I put this little ledge right here. I slid my water on the top and my grit on the bottom. Pushed it farther up so that they can't crap on top of them. And my bow, we're gonna do a quick thing with the birds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, these are my flights. I did one on them before, but I'll show you how they're doing now. This is the smallest one. I get his crop. This is Nestmate. Tell me they are not eating well. I took my gloves off. Okay, my Nestmates here. Let's see what they look like. Look at their little stomach. A little crop, a little crop, plenty of food. All right, these flights right here, they got two eggs. These are my racing homers here, and this is just a couple of days ago. We can see his crop. Look like he's a red or a yellow. And this one right here, you see his crop. Look like you're gonna have probably have some flights. We're gonna see. Got his little band on there. Okay, this is my race. You got two eggs under there. These are my two homers that's in there. Look how big them crops are. They're so big they can't even they can't even walk. All right, this is my outside little dog cage kennel. My two little flights are right there. I moved them into this one. If it's zoom in on them. Still got that uh, flight with a beard right there. And this, I guess, uh, whatever kind of, he's a flight, but he's a little all mixed up in colors and stuff. So we'll call him a grizzle some kind of way but uh, I put some wood down because the rain for three it's been raining for almost seven days so we got about 50 degrees out here put some wood down right there 
uh, was almost going to get put out the house. My wife said I kept tracking mud in the house. And then I bought some uh, plywood put there. And I let all the birds out this morning. See my flag up. And I got that guy right there. He's been out for since about 9 o'clock this morning. Yeah. Sitting up there. He's going to get ate by a hawk. He keeps staying up there. But he's the only one left out. I got the cage open. Got the trap down. I gave everybody uh, water this morning for them to take a bath. Pulled all the plastic off already. Let's go inside. Take a look. Okay. Now, this is the flight pen. I've got exactly 19 flights in here. All different colors. And the eggs that we had down in that corner there, the past couple, I checked them the past couple of days. They was cold, so they must have stopped sitting on them. I opened them up today and uh, opened them, and they was, uh, the, ba the uh, eggs was almost fully developed, but they just stopped sitting on them, so they were really cold, ice cold, so destroyed them. And right here, there he goes. The incredible hawk. I can tell it's him, he's got a green band on his leg. That's a 2018 band. I got this, uh, that bird right there is paired up with one of these white homers and they laid an egg there. I don't even know how the hell. I just moved them in here just to put them and let them fly with the flying team. So, this is all what's left on my flying team. I am not going to fly old bird season. Just don't make no sense. I don't have enough birds to actually and pay all the money for just a few birds. I think I got about six that can actually fly for old bird season. But, let's go in here and let's go and look at the chaos. Alright everybody, this is uh, my racing stock loft. I call this Chaos Central. Uh, on the floor right there, I have a hen. I don't even know who the cock bird, but that's the same bird I've been seeing. It's been sitting on them two eggs for I don't know. It's been sitting on them since she laid them. Then I got this cock bird right here. He's sitting on two eggs. His mate is a dog checking here, so I know he's got a mate in here. I have this hen right here. She's sitting on two eggs. Empty box, empty box, empty box, empty box, empty box. But they're going to lay and they're going to get on the floor. Makes no damn sense. We got these two right here. Let's see if I can get them out. Okay, got these. Just took them out of that nest there. Get a picture of them. How big that bird is. Let's see. Don't look like a bar. But that's one. He's big. Yeah. Here's his nest mate. crop is pretty big so you can believe they ain't miss a meal these are my these are my two birds from uh, pancake they just laid one egg two days ago hopefully they should be dropping another one today uh, then we got these two up here Okay, I got these two right here. You can see, looks almost like a black. And this one almost look, shit, I don't even know what color that is. But these guys, you can see, look at that crop. They have not missed a meal. 
and I feed them in here. The ones in here, I feed them uh, pellets. These two right here is that grizzle right there. He's hurt too. That's their nest mate. Up here, I have my two silvers. They look like a silver. And it looks like a silver. Of course, they might change, but. Here I got, I think she's sitting on two eggs. Kiss my ass. She's sitting on three eggs now. How'd she get three eggs? I ain't figured that one out yet. Three eggs. This hen is sitting on three eggs. Oh well. She's just gonna do what she do. Alright family. Alright, back outside. Sun shining. All the birds ran outside. Let me go back in. Alright, here's the question of the day. I got the two pairs that's actually got the eggs on the ground on the floor, which kills me on cleaning. I don't know if it's picking up. Alright. Since it's uh alright, let's see where we're going. All right, I got the two pairs that got the eggs on the floor. Uh, definitely want somebody to give me a comment on, uh, you can comment about anything you want, that'll work. But uh, I'm trying to figure out how to get them off the floor for the next round and not let them, not let them uh, breed on the floor again. So not lay eggs on the floor. So if you would, give me a comment on that. Didn't mean for this video to go so long. Shout out to our UK family, High Flyer 18. Kenzie Mack, you got your boy the Hulk in there. Hell Flights, hope your breeding is going well. Joe Tiplers, appreciate you. Uh, Want to definitely give a shout out Jehovah. I must have butchered this brother's name. Oh, something bad. So give a shout out to Jehovah. Uh, Raymond C., Anthony Vegas, Mark Hunt, uh, Salvage Loft, and Quacking Pigeons. You know, and then we give always give a shout out to our to our friendly family in the Hawaii, Hawaiian Brian, Aloha Pigeons. Give a shout out to RC33, Peter Raymond. Just gonna give a quick look back on this one right here. The Cooper, Unique Pigeons, Stratus 5907. Uh, I bought the plastic from uh, Hobby Lobby, like he told me. And then figures now that my Walmart actually carries the plastic now for a, a cheaper price. Uh, Dunningville Loft, Hidden Hollow Loft, Rico's Pigeons, Don Pigeons, and I'm out here working on uh, some projects. Seeing my grass, cleaning out my shed before I get done. So, uh, shout out to Skywalker, Skywatcher, sorry about that. Tipler Man 266. All right, if, uh, you know, do what you do, subscribe, comment, appreciate you watching, peace.